Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to talk about Valkyrie so we can finish up the contract month that we had going. Uh, I am recording this the same day that I recorded Arthur and Odin. I figured, you know, I'm going to use today to just stockpile a bunch of videos so I can at least have a week of consistent posts because there are some that I kind of have like time restrictions on a little bit you know like one of them that I want to well there's two that I want to do very soon being uh, Sphinx and Yugi and I want to do them soon since Sphinx is about to come back in Rebirth and Yuki has the super festival going on so need to get those out and then also I want to do Jacqueline as well since she's coming in the capture festival so expect those three relatively soon uh, but anyway, let's just jump right into this. Let's uh, go to Fire Valkyrie. Uh, I do want to preface this the same way I did in the Arthur video, that I have not built any Valkyries on this account. On my alt, I do have Light Valkyrie and Water that I built. On this one, I have summoned Fire, Water, and Wood, but I haven't got around to building them yet. But I'll probably end up building them soon. I really want a uh, Light Valkyrie. That's kind of what is holding me on from building one. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look. Here's the Evo 1. Super cute. Super cute. Evo 2. Still super cute, but her shield is kind of obstructing the view. Uh, same with Evo 3, but still super, super cute. See, like, Odin is beautiful, you know, like, all elegant and fancy. Whereas, like, Valkyrie is, like, super cute, man. And, you know, sometimes cute wins, so... Yeah. Uh, anyway, to get into the actual point of this... Uh, well, first, let's look at her variant. Uh, I do like the variant colors more. Especially because of that pink hair. Uh, though the orange hair is very cute, too. I like both. Yeah. Oh, but the variant has, like, this, like, sort of purple tint to her colors, and I love that purple, so... Yeah. Definitely going with the variant there. Anyway, let's look at her stats real quick. Uh, at level 60, level 3, she's got really good attack. Uh, sorry, HP for a balance type. Her attack and defense are not the best for a balance type, but honestly, they're fine the way they are. Uh, Fire Valkyrie is very, very good. And if her stats were increased much more, she would... Oh, she'd be more annoying than she already is. Uh... And let's get into her skills, and I'll tell you why she's annoying. Uh, so her 3-star is the same as Water Arthur's, as we spoke about in the last video. It's a 50% morale boost. And then her 5-star is actually much better than Arthur's, in my opinion. Uh, it's a one-turn stun, but it is 80% chance, and it is on AoE. Skillbooks do bring it up to 90%, so there is that. Uh, for the 3-star, for the damage boost, she also gets a... 20% damage boost on 3-star with books, and then a 25% damage boost on 5-star with books. So, she can still potentially hit, hit pretty hard, even if you don't build her offensively. But anyway, what is super annoying about her is that every third turn, she's going to get that AoE going and be stunning your mons uh, when you face her. If you face her against, uh, if she's on the defense team that you're facing. Uh, but she is really good. Uh, as I said, she's got really good HP, and her attack and defense are also okay. Uh, where you want to use her, her best place, like where she shines the most, is PvP defense. Uh, but she is also very good on offense as well, so there's that. And then you can use her for farming certain stages, because her 3-star does give her her uh, active very often. She'd be really good on a siphon set if built offensively. Uh, I'm not saying that's the best way to go. Definitely the best way to go for her is PvP defense. But those are other options too in case you want to try something different out. You know, uh, she'd be good for GB9 and DB8. Just because she'll be able to get her active and be stunning frequently. So there's that as well. Uh, but definitely PvP defense is where you want to go. Uh, her HP is very high for a balance type as I said, so... Uh, you can honestly go HP defense defense, and she'd be pretty good just like that. Uh, though, 
thinking about it now, uh, HP, HP defense on healer sounds freaking amazing. It really does. Uh, don't do that, actually. I don't want to see that. I don't want to have to fight that because it'll be annoying to take out. <laughs> it'll be really annoying. Uh, another thing that you see her on often is Pudgeless because, again, she'll get her active often, so it is very good. But again, Pudgeless is annoying, so don't use it, please. Uh, <laughs> I definitely go Healer over Pudgeless. Definitely. It's more my play style. Anyway, I sh funny enough, I should note, Fire Valkyrie is the only Valkyrie that didn't get any buff or changes to it in the recent balance, pat balance patch, and that is just to say that she is very, very good. Uh, but there's not much else I can say about her, so we will go to the next one. We'll go to Water, and I did forget to mention uh, her leader skill. Her leader skill is 40 to 45% increase in League, so very good for Fire, and pretty much it's good for all of them, actually. Uh, not so much for Fire, because you mostly use it for defense, and attack leads on defense aren't super, super great. You know, you'd rather have an HP lead or a defense lead, even a resist lead, uh, but still, still is a very good useful lead. Uh, good, useful. I don't know if that sentence makes... <laughs> I don't know if that was grammatically correct. But anyway, here we got Water Valkyrie, uh, Sigrun, at Evo 3. Look at her, at her variant. I do like the, the non-variant more, just because of the hair color. But you know, the variant's wings are blue, and it's a very pretty blue. I kind of like that too. Shit, that's a very difficult decision to make. Uh, I'll go with the non-variant just because, you know, the hair. And now she is the final contract mon for the, uh, first, uh, Firewater Wood contract. Uh, Water Valkyrie specifically. Uh, now, I did say in one of the other videos, I don't remember which, that the decision you make for which one to pick in that first contract Honestly, personally, I think that you should just pick whichever one you like the most because in the long run, it's not going to make too much of a difference because you do have a decent chance of summoning uh, one of the other ones that you don't pick. Whereas when it comes to light and dark contract, you have a very low chance of summoning those guys. So that one, you should be a bit more selective with your choice. For the Firewater Wood contract, just pick the one you like. Uh, they're all good. Uh, we'll get into why Water Valkyrie is good, and if you haven't seen the last two videos about Odin and Arthur, you can find out about them in those videos. Uh, but again, we're going to go into Valkyrie now. So, her HP is pretty good for an attacker, and her attack set is actually very good as well. Uh, it did, I believe, yeah, her HP and attack did get buffed in the re recent patch. She got a 10% HP increase and a 5% attack increase. You know, I did... I was wondering why her attack was so high. It's She's probably top 10 in the game now. I don't know. I don't know all the... Maybe top 20. Because I don't know too much about anything past like the top 5. But she's close. She's close to the top 5. So she's probably top 10. And her defense is pretty good as well. Uh, let's look at her skills. So she got Predator on her 3-star 50%. Used to be 40, so thank you, Balance Patch. Uh, and then her 5-star is defense down 100% two turns, which is a really good defense down. Uh, skill books, they give her a 20% damage boost on her 3-star and 25% damage boost on her 5-star. Unfortunately, it doesn't bring the defense down to three turns. If it did, that'd be amazing. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine that it doesn't. And thinking, looking at her now, she'd be an amazing lead for special season for League. Uh, just start off and get defense down if you can, right away. Like, my special season team usually involves a Fire Succubus lead. So, that three turn, potentially 100% chance if she crits uh, defense down on uh, to start it off is definitely very helpful for me. So I can see this also be very, being very useful, and her leader skill will even benefit her more than Succubus would, because attack lead would be better for offense. Uh... So yeah, definitely very good uh, there. 
So, yeah, I recommend PvP offense. 100%. Uh, but, of course, she'd also be good for other places as well. She'd be good for farming. Uh, if you don't have a solid uh, GB18 yet, and you chose Valkyrie for your contract, you know, you don't have to farm. That's one less Mona you have to farm. So, there you go. You got a Mon, mon there. Also good for DB9. And then also Titans as well. She'd do good for doing some damage when you if you don't have any a lot of CS mons yet. And then that backup defense down under five star would also be helpful there. Uh, so those are the three places you want to use her. She'd also be good for story stages, of course, and star stones. Uh, not star stones, uh, the fire stones place. Yeah. Elemental stones. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, how I would build her. I would definitely build her offensively, uh, like crit rate, attack, attack, crit rate, attack, crit damage, attack, attack, HP if you don't have a square slot, or attack, attack, crit damage, you want to go full glass and get your uh, survivability from trinkets, uh, that's, that's definitely what you should most likely do in the, as you get closer to the end game, you want to get your survivability from trinkets for your attackers, and then just the gems go as offensively as possible. But I won't get into like specifics with which gem builds are most optimal or whatever for your attackers, period. As I know I'm not the most knowledgeable person about that. Uh, so, so yeah, I just rec I can give a base recommendation, I guess. Uh, and that is it for Water Valkyrie. Again, she's super cute, so if you decide that you like her m the most out of your... Firewater Wood Contract, I do recommend her. I chose Odin for mine on my on this account that we're seeing here. And then on my alt, I think I chose Arthur. Uh, but I did end up getting Water Valkyrie on both accounts. I haven't built them yet uh, on this account. I haven't built my Water Valkyrie, but I will eventually. I definitely will eventually. Just not sure yet what I want to do with her yet, because I do have a lot of Water Attackers. But anyway, let's get on to Wood Valkyrie and take a look at her other evolution levels. And there's her variant. I like the green hair. Like, I don't know. I love I love it when the characters have unnatural hair colors. I think those are the best. Uh, but still, even so, the blonde here is still really nice. But, you know, if I wanted to see a blonde, I'd look in the mirror. But... I like the green hair a lot, so I'm going to stick with the, the regular one. Uh, now for, see, Wood Valkyrie, unfortunately, is the, hmm, I've never seen her as, like, a great mon. Uh, it's just that there's a lot of better options. Not that she's bad, just a lot of better options. Um, she's a balanced type. Her HP is good for a balanced type, not as good as fire. Uh, fire Valkyries, but it's still a really good HP st HP stat, and her defense and, H and attack are also pretty good as well. It's her skills that don't really help her out too much. So on her three star, she has adrenaline, twenty percent of her own HP, and on and then on her five star, it's adrenaline for the team, ten percent of her own max max HP. So she is gonna just sit there and heal. That's what she's gonna do. It's just that. Her heal isn't enough. So, like, especially if you use her for PvP defense, where you're gonna have to. Where she's, like, Fire Drac is running all over the place, so she's not gonna do so well there. And then her skills don't give any of a. Off, like, a th they're not threatening to you, to somebody who would attack your defense team. Uh, if her. 3-star heal the team, maybe that would make her good, or better, I mean, but, I don't know, dude, she's always been just so weird, like, I want, I've seen people use her, and they can use her well, but she's the least desirable of the Valkyries, uh, definitely. Uh, skill books do bring her adrenaline on her 3-star up to 30%, which is great, but still, that 30% might not be enough. Uh, she does get a 15% damage boost on her 3-star, and then a 20% damage boost on her 5-star. It'd be nice if that adrenaline 
on five star went up to 15% or something, but either way, it's all right. Because uh, her stats are still pretty good. Uh, but still, with her skills, her skill combo, there isn't really anywhere you want to use her. Uh, besides PvP, but there's so much fire attackers that she's not going to be super helpful there. Uh, I've seen people use her on offense, so she can maybe do well there. Maybe if you build her... See, if you use her for offense, you're going to want to build her more offensively, right? So use attack gems. But then her heals won't be as strong. If you use it for defense and you build her tanky, she's still going to go down because of all the fire attackers. So it's kind of like, it's just that the metagame isn't set up for her to do well. Uh, I don't, ugh, I hate, I hate, like, I don't like saying any of these mons are bad because she's not bad. It's just, I don't know, man. She's pretty much just fodder for the other Valkyries, which is sad to say, because I do like her, so. And funny enough, in the last balance pass, she did get a 10% uh, HP boost, so she used to be worse. Uh, I don't know what change they can make to make her better, though. I guess if, like... Maybe for three star was changed like a fifty percent morale boost, or a ten percent team morale boost, maybe. Or if it was like uh, same thing as Water Persephone's three stars so of like adrenaline ten percent or only HP for the team, maybe something like that. I think it's her three star that definitely needs to change. Her five star is fine, but her three star needs to change for sure. So I don't know. Hopefully she gets a change in the future that changes her 3-star to make her a bit more useful. But until then, she's probably going to be just fodder for other Valkyries, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, I think I spent enough time on her, so we'll go over to Light now. Uh, there she is. Now, Light Valkyrie is amazing. Uh, really, really amazing. She did just get a change in the recent balance patch. Uh... That made her a lot more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, if I can redo my uh, light contract pick, I don't know who I'd go with, but it would probably... Like, I went with Odin before, but if I were to do it with the mindset I have now, I'd probably go with Valkyrie. <laughs> very, very good mon now. Or a lot better than she used to be, which wasn't even bad to begin with. Uh, looking at the colors, uh, funny enough, her variant colors kind of look like Water Valkyrie. The hair stays the same, but the outfit and the sword and stuff get more bluish and stuff. I'm going to pick that I like the regular one just because it's more unique from the water one. Uh, looking at her stats, uh, she has a balance type, her HP is really good, and her attack is also really good as well. Her defense is decent, as decent, uh, nothing amazing, but it is still pretty good. Uh, she did get an HP buff in the recent patch, it was only 8%, but still very helpful. And now let's go on to her skills, which on her 3 star is a 100% 1 turn shock, same as Light Arthur, as we spoke about in the last video. But her 5-star is what really sets her apart. So where Light Arthur is good for being offensive, as he just got Hunter in the last update. And the up for Valkyrie, the recent update, she got damage reduction on her 5-star. Uh, it used to be Predator. It was, I believe, 40%. Uh, so she was decent as a offensive mon, even though she was a balance type. But now she is amazing for PvP. She was good before, but now she's amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. So on her 3 star, she's going to be CCing with the best CC in the game. Shock, of course. Her skill books bring that up to 2 turns and give it a 20% damage boost, which is amazing. And then on her 5 star, the uh, skill books do only give it a damage boost to 20%. Uh, but even without books, it doesn't matter. 
uh, because that two turn all allies damage reduction is amazing. It's going to make your mons survive twice as long. Uh, which, who doesn't want that for PvP? Uh, I don't know if there's ever a time where you'd want your mon to die in PvP, but I don't know, man. You do you. But this is great, just because it just gives her a utility that almost no other mon can replicate. So she's very unique. Uh, I know uh, Silver does have damage reduction, the same skill on his 5-star, but his 3-star is different, and he was a limited time month. So, whereas Valkyrie's not. So there's a difference there. Uh, then she's also very good for offense and defense as well, for not just not just one or the other. Uh, Silver, I feel, leans more towards defense, but Valkyrie is very good for offense, especially with her leader skill. Very good there. And then, oh, her leader skill on special season seems amazing to me. Uh, get that nice attack boost. You start off, give your team a damage reduction, which would support your... Like, that's the benefit for her. Like, Sonic has damage reduction on his 3-star, and then other mods with Fearless Taunt, like, they have damage reduction for themselves, which is great and all, but the damage reduction for the team is just amazing. Uh, there's, it's just, su the support you get is so good. I know I'm just, like, gushing over Light Valkyrie now, and I'm, oh, I wish I had one, man. <sighs> uh, anyway, besides PvP, you can also use her in TOC, floors 80 and 100, and... I don't know how well she'd do, but it'd be interesting to see her be used like for early Titan teams to give yourself that damage reduction. She's not going to really do much damage there. It's just, it'd be interesting to see that damage reduction. Uh, that's what I love about the new Nat 5 that came out, Enkidu, or Enkido, however it's pronounced, who has CS and damage reduction for the team, so... I just, it's, man, I want Light Valkyrie now, man. It's so sad. Uh, how you can build her depends on where you, you want to use her. You're definitely going to want to use her for PvP, but you can use her for defense or offense. So if you're going for defense, build her more tanky, like HP defense defense or HP HP defense. Uh, if you're going to, you can even go HP attack defense as well. You don't even have to worry about building her too survivable because she will have that damage reduction to help out with that. Especially on special season. Uh, if you're going to use it for offense, then... I think I would still go HP, defense, attack. I think that would be the best build for her. Yeah, that sounds good. Or HP, attack, attack would also be good as well. Just, But that would be better for special season rather than regular. Because you want to get that damage reduction right away. Uh, anyway, let's move on to Dark. Valkyrie, the final one. Oh, I didn't speak about the contract for light. So, for light contract, I went with Odin, which it, she's super useful. But at this point now, with the change for light Valk, and also because I don't need like a light tank for GB10, which I don't think Valkyrie would be super great for there, uh, at least just because she's less survivable than Odin and her damage reduction is on her active, not on her 3-star. Uh, so I don't think she'd do that well there. But anyway, besides that, because I already have a good GB10 team and whatnot, I would trade my Light Odin for Light Valkyrie just because she's so much more interesting for me to play as. But that doesn't mean Light Odin is bad or all, anything like that. They're... All the light contract mods are very good. Uh, it just depends what you need. Uh, if you need a GB10 tank, get Odin. If you need a light attacker, get Arthur. If you need... Just like... If you don't need either of those, 
and you like Valkyrie, she's that. She's there. She. I feel like she's more uh, flexible than the other two. So yeah, there is that. Uh, and anyway, let's move on to Dark Valkyrie, the final one. Uh, I love the purple on the evil one. Yeah, I'm loving this purple. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, the 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 variant is cool. It is definitely cool, you know. Got that goth aesthetic, big titty goth, goth GF. That's all great and all. But I like the non-variant. I love the pink hair. I love the violets, I guess those are. Sad she loses the purple. You know, I like this purple. Sad that she loses it, but it's all right. It's all right. And I just noticed she's in heels. God dang. But anyway, let's talk about the important stuff. So, looking at her stats, she's a tank. She has really good HP. Definitely really good. Uh, her attack is okay. Her defense is okay. They're both nothing special. Uh, it'd be good if her t her defense was a little bit higher, but it's fine. Uh, she did get a change in the recent balance patch, actually. So, yeah. Uh, she did. She got a 10% buff to her attack and defense, so they used to be a little lower, which is... Which I'm really happy they did that. Because she needed it. Definitely needed it. And they also buffed her 5-star, but we'll get into that in a second. Talk about her 3-star first. She is a 100% stunner. Uh, so... Light Valkyrie and Dark Valkyrie both have 100% CC on their one on their 3-star. Uh, books do bring Dark Valkyrie's stun up to 2 turns and gives a 20% damage boost. Then on her 3-star, uh, sorry, her 5-star is 100% 2 turns silence. It used to be 80% 2 turns. So that, that was a very nice buff. Uh, skill books do bring it up to 3 turns as well. And gives her a 25% damage boost. Uh... So where you'd want to use her, she'd be another good option for Variant Valkyrie. Uh, well, personally, I think Light is the best candidate if you have the chance to get a Variant for one of the Valkyries. I definitely think Light is the best option, but Dark is a good contender in that. The Water would, I think, would be a better. I think it would go Light, Water, Dark in terms of which one gets the Variant. But anyway... Dark, you can use it for PvP. Good for offense and defense. Uh, though, shines better, or shines brightly in... Shines brighter, there we go, in defense. Uh, as most tanky mons do. Uh, and, of course, you can also use it for TOC for floors 80 and 100, just for that 100% stun. She doesn't really have much use anywhere else, though. It's just those two spots. And as for gemming her, I would gem her like the same way you would gem uh, fire. So like you want to focus on tanky. So like HP, HP, defense, or HP, defense, defense. Uh, because she is a dark mon, she does have that base 100 crit damage, so it would be interesting to see her built in a more offensive way. But I don't know how well that would work, and I think... It, I don't think it would do too great, but it is an option, I guess. It's, it might have potential. Uh, there isn't really much to say about Dark Valkyrie when that I haven't already said about the other Valkyries. Uh, she, silence is okay, but it's not as good as stuns or shocks or even sleep. So, it's alright, but not like super amazing but her stats are good you know she's gonna tank hit she's gonna live a long time and she's gonna be spreading around that stun so that's also very good and you know what the silence can be very useful as well since offensive teams don't have as high resist as defensive teams so she'll be landing that, that silence pretty often if she of course gets her bar full so you never know she is really good though still definitely really good uh, if I were to prioritize all the Valkyries, I would say Light is my number one. Definitely. <laughs> Just because she's so interesting now. I want her so bad. 
But then uh, second is fire. Fire is absolutely amazing. You know, funny enough, I haven't encountered a light Valkyrie since the update in PvP. I'm surprised about that, you know. But anyway, uh, fire definitely would be my number two, though I know other people would probably recommend her number one, just because she is absolutely amazing on PvP defense. Uh, then I would go water, then dark, then wood, as wood definitely needs more of a buff than what she got in the last patch. Her three star definitely needs to change to something else, as it's not very useful right now, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Definitely, need, she definitely needs a buff. Uh, but that ranking list kind of does change depending on where you want to use them. Like for PvP defense, I would rank fire over light. Like I'd go fire, light, dark, wood, water, because obviously water won't do too well on defense. Being an attacker, you want to build her offensive, so she'll probably die fast. Uh, but on offense, I would put water as rank one, and then like light, fire, dark, and wood. Uh, notice that I put light as second for both those, though. Even though I gave her number one overall, that's just because she's more flexible, uh, and more interesting to me. But all the Valkyries are pretty good. Wood, most likely you're going to want to use for fodder for other ones, but you can use her as well. And yeah, that's going to be it for the Valkyrie uh, video. Uh, actually, hold up, because I forgot she has costumes, which I did not show off for the other ones, but we'll show off real quick. Uh, so, you guys saw the Odin costumes in the last video. You can see all the costumes for them here. I've got multiple of them, because I wanted to have a different color for each one. Or for each element of Odin I had. But anyway, here's the Valkyrie costumes. Super cute. Sailor costumes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's Arthur one. Yeah, here we go. And here's the Arthur ones. So, yeah. Anyway, that is going to be all for this. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, okay. The exit button was close to where the pause for the recording button is, so I probably skipped for a second there. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys, hope you guys had some help or got some good info to help make you, to help ease your decision with picking your contract mods. Holy, cannot speak. Uh, yeah, so there is that. Uh, have yourselves all a good day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.